Yeah, by John, let me take it to France. Diamonds, how get it ice out again? Bit through rocket, the climber, and yeah. Niggas on top of these niggas, now with it. Bitch, I love money, I love the digits. Niggas look up to me, cause I go get a little bitch. She assassin me, and she with it. Okay, I'm back to another video. So today we are back with another bug burner reaction. I had to bring it back because I know you guys liked the last few ones that I've done. And today we have can't handle this Kanye rant. This should be an interesting one. He's going to be talking about Kanye West. I don't know. I never know what to expect now clicking on the bug burner reaction because the first one I did, Welcome to the Internet, I was like, oh, okay, he's just like a, a comedy rapper. I kind of put him in like a box in my head. And then I listened to All Eyes on Me and I was like, oh shit, he's I can actually make music as well. So. Who knows what we're, we're going to have today, uh, but we're going to get straight into it. But before we do, can I ask you guys to go and click that like button? Can we hit 500 likes on this video? If you haven't already liked the video, go down and do that right now. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on. And also, I have a little message for you guys right now. Uh, so there's, it's like a little ad break, but it's not actually a sponsor. It's it's like a thing from me. So yeah, just you, it'll, you, it'll, it'll make sense. Just don't skip this. Watch it through. Just before we get into this reaction, I want to let you guys know about my clothing brand. This is something I've been working hard on the last couple of months, and I really appreciate you guys' support on it. We have just dropped two brand new hoodies. I'm really pleased with how they turned out. I think they look great. And they are available on our website, toblessclothing.com, which is linked down in the description if you want to go and check them out. Go and get yourself a hoodie to support me as a creator. I'd really appreciate it. I think they're just under £30 if you're from the UK, and it's a bit more expensive for the US because fuck me, shipping to the US is very expensive. I, I had no idea. And honestly, I'm not making making much profit on these. I tried to keep them as cheap as possible because I don't want to be out here charging loads and loads of money for hoodies. So I've made them as cheap as possible. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I, I, think I think they're worth the money. I think they're very nice hoodies. I'm really pleased with how they turned out. So I'd appreciate any of you guys supporting me on that. Like I said, the website is linked down in the description below. Go and check them out. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, little ad break is over. Go and check out the hoodies. But let's get into this. Bob Barnum can't handle this, can you, Ren? Let's go. I went to Kanye West recent tour, the Yeezus tour. It was a big, dramatic, theatrical show. He did something very strange at the end of his show where he ranted for like 20 minutes. It was kind of a rant, kind of a song. He had auto-tune on his voice, and like there was Kanye. an instrumental in the background. Like this instrumental. He talked about his problems. Race. This is the face of Bo Burnham that I recognize. Like from the, I, I said in my first reaction to him, I recognized his face and I couldn't tell from where. And it was from like a vine from like ages and ages ago. But this is like the face I recognize. Now he looks like a, he looks like a boy here and he looks like a man now because he's got like a whole big beard and shit. Power. This is the His $90 t-shirts weren't selling very well. That was most of it. <laughs> and I watched this. I thought maybe I could do this. I'll be honest, my problems not as high stakes as Kanye's, but I have problems. And maybe a crowd in New York would be nice enough to indulge me. So as we get to the end of a night of theater and comedy and sweaters coming on and off, I got one question for you. And that question is... What's the question? Can I say my shit? Oh, shit. New York. Can I say my shit? I got lots of shit to say. I got lots of shit to say. Oh. I can't fit my hand inside a Pringle can. I have a huge amount of trouble fitting my hand inside of a Pringle can. I can the way he's speaking as well is in like the same way Kanye speaks. My hand. Can, like four inches into the can, but then I have to tilt the can into my mouth. But by that point, a bunch of crumbs have accumulated at the bottom of the can, so they all go spill it on the bottom. No, you can't be, you can't be tipping the Pringle can. You've just got to tilt it to the side so they kind of slide down a bit, and then you put your hand in. It's, it's simple. Come on. What I'm trying to say is the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. It's true. I'll say it again, the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. Two radiuses of a Pringle can is way too small. If you feel me, put your hands up. Come on. If you feel me, put your hands up. Look at all these hands that are way too big to fit inside a Pringle can. Your hands are too big to fit inside a Pringle can. Your hands are too big to fit inside a Pringle can. You think you can, I know you can. You think you can. Pringles, listen to the people. I am sure 90% of the complaint letters you get are about the width of your cans. Just make them wider. I've overdone the Pringles thing. Sorry. 
No, no, you haven't. It's true. It's true. It, they should have done it by now. It makes sense, right? It, it's very straight. Do they save money on packaging? Fuck knows. It's, it's a big design flaw that they've had for... I mean, this is back in 2016. Still got it. I wanna have a daughter. Wanna have a daughter. So I can finally have someone around the house who can fit their hands in a Pringle can. <laughs> yes, I'm still on the Pringle can thing. Yeah. I'll, I'll move on, all right? <laughs> but that is priority numero uno. I don't go to the gym because I'm self-conscious about my body. But I'm self-conscious about my body because I don't go to the gym. <laughs> Irony can be so painful. <laughs> That's a catch-22. This is actually so sick. Like, he's not just doing a stand-up, he's actually done a full-on production, also tuned his mic. Right I went to Chipotle, went to Chipotle, got myself a chicken burrito. I went down the line, I got like all these ingredients, and then at the end of the line, the guy tried to wrap the burrito, but half of the shit inside the burrito spilled out, he still wrapped it. I was like, dude, you should have warned me. You're a burrito expert, you should have told me halfway through, hey man, you might be reaching maximum burrito capacity here. He reminds me of Lil Dicky a bit. You know how Lil Dicky will just go on like some like weird ass rant in the middle of his songs? I don't know who came first, Bo Burnham or Lil Dicky, but it's this kind of style where they just go on like a rant. Maybe a little dick he was inspired by Barbara and I don't know. Do you think I want a messy burrito? No one wants a messy burrito. The whole appeal of a burrito is that all of the ingredients are contained within the confines of the tortilla. I wouldn't have gotten half this And I'm so interested to know if he was inspired by Flanders and Swan. I said this in my very first reaction to him. And I still, I like, I want to know. I want to talk to him and ask him if he was. Because I'm probably the only person who's fucking 17 who knows who Flanders and Swan is. Why the fuck do I know who they are? But I just do. And he, he, it feels like he's got inspiration from them, if you know what I mean. Like the, the kind of comedic style, song, melody stuff. It's, it seems like he's got inspiration from them. Shit, if I knew what's gonna fit in the burrito. All right, look. I wouldn't have got the lettuce if I knew what would it fit. Wouldn't have got the cheese if I knew what would it fit. Wouldn't have got the peppers if I knew they wouldn't fit. I wouldn't have got, 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 got half of it. Like, I'm okay with small mistakes. If you got no more chicken, I'll take pork. But I'll blow my dad before I eat a burrito with a fork. Wouldn't have got the lettuce if I knew what would it Wouldn't have got the cheese. This must be so sick to be at a show and someone does this instead of just like a stand up. Like, imagine you, I guess people know like they're coming for this. But imagine the first time he did this, and you think you're coming for a stand-up, and then, and then you get a whole production like this. Break it down. I need to go see live comedy, man. Never be. Maybe I'll go to a Bo Burnham show. Sit here and pretend like my biggest problems are Pringle cans and burritos. The truth is my biggest problems, you. I want to please you, but I want to stay true to myself. I want to give you the night out that you deserve, but I want to say what I think and not care what you think about it. A part of me loves you. Part of me hates you. Part of me needs you. Part of me fears you And I don't think that I can handle this right now Handle this right now I don't think that I can handle this right now I 
don't think that I can handle this right. I don't think that I can handle this right. I don't think that I can handle this right. I don't think that I can handle this right. And look at them, they're just staring at me like, come and watch the skinny kid with a steadily declining mental health. And laugh as he attempts to give you what he cannot give himself. I don't think that I can handle this right. I don't think that I can handle this right But they don't even know the herb of this right But they don't even know the herb of it But I know I'm not a doctor I'm a pussy I put on a silly show I should probably just shut up and do my job So here I go Wouldn't I got the lettuce if I knew it wouldn't fit? Wouldn't I got the cheese if I knew it wouldn't fit? Wouldn't I got the peppers if I knew they wouldn't fit? Wouldn't I got the you can tell them anything if you just make it funny, make it rhyme. And if they still don't understand you, then you will run it one more time. They got on your head all this time. This must be weird as fuck being in the audience, because he's like psychoanalyzing himself and you at the same time as performing. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Good night. I hope you're happy. That was an interesting ending. Thank you. Good night. I hope you're happy. Anyway, that was sick. <laughs> that was a bit of a, a bit of a kind of like thinker in the middle of like a, a funny performance. It was very weirdly placed. I think that was the point of it. He kind of like gets you in a, a false sense of security. You're like, oh, I'm just listening to like a nice cheerful song, and then oh shit, he's totally what well, fuck? He's he's psychoanalyzing everyone. <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah. It's, it's Bo Burnham and he does that shit. Yeah, anyway, let me know if I should react to more Bo Burnham. If so, what should I do? Let me know in the comments and make sure you like this video to let me know that you do want to see more Bo Burnham reactions. But apart from that, make sure you subscribe and notifications on and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>